Hello everyone, welcome to the first part of the series. This, in this part I'm gonna model the character. So with that said, let's just go to it. I mean, I think I've turned on the screencast keys. If it doesn't work, sorry, but I, th I did install the add-on. I'm not sure how to make it work anyway, so let's just start. So first I'm gonna add a mesh. Let's just add a cube. And in the cube properties over in the bottom left, I'm gonna, it's two meters high here. So this is going to be a reference, press 1 to go into front view. This is just going to be for reference to how high my character is going to be. I'm going to make him 2 meters high. So this, I'm just, uh, the height from the foot to the head stop would be 2 meters. So this is just reference, let's just remake it. Rename it, reference, come on, reference. So now, shift A add a mesh cube let's just scale it down I'm gonna use control a lot to scale down stuff because I want to be uniform so just drag it up G and X uh, G and Z on the Z axis drag it up so this is gonna be my head as you can see it's right in the middle from the top I'll press 7 to go into top view right in the middle from the top right in the middle from the sides and right in the middle from the front as well so this is going to be my head let's just rename it head let's just model it a bit let's just hide this for the time being to mm. let's just design it a bit so i'm just gonna select these four and bevel vertices this is this just makes it a bit better looking so yeah, this is what I've got. Front view, I'm in edit view right now. I made edit mode, I mean. So press 3 to go into face select. Select this face. And wait, let's just go into edge select, uh, I mean vertex selection. So press 1, go in front view. Select this vertex, vertex this one. I mean, I think I've done a bit too much because I need to, I'm going to draw two eyes and a bit of teeth here so I might need to undo the bevel thing so, yep so now bevel vertices just a tiny bit because it looks nice and that's what I'm going for okay so once again select this one and this one and press okay I'm gonna show you what I'm doing so right now this is a whole face so go into vertex selection this one and this one and press J this one and this one press J. What it, this does is it joins the vertices and it also cuts the faces. So now I've got three faces instead of the one which was the earlier one. Okay, so now get, let's go into this one. This. And I'm gonna. Mm, no. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go undo it do it again control r to go into the loop cut get a loop cut and you know what i'm just gonna get keep it in the middle okay so now i've got two faces this one and this one this one's going to be for the eyes select this control r and let's see what i'm going to do edge selection sorry vertex selection and to select these two press control r sorry uh, subdivide yeah subdivide press these two and do subdivide press these two control I mean select these two and then subdivide now select these two and then press J we go into face selection we've got two faces these are going to be for the eyes and this is I'm gonna let's just insert it press I to insert let's just bring it in I believe this is enough yep so they've got the area for the eyes and for the teeth this is going to be for them let's just insert a bit more once again so that is i'm just going to color this part a bit different from this part so there's a bit of contrast and you can see you can determine from looking that it's teeth and nothing else so select these two press i and do i keep it like that no i would rather I and then press 0 0.1 okay uh, press enter I 0 0.1 and then enter so 
So now I've got two eyes and this whole area for the teeth. Okay, so select these two, go into side view, press well to go into side view, press three on the numpad, G and Y, control and just a tiny bit which is zero point zero one meters along the global Y. Okay, so it's just brought these two out. Oh wait, I just I, I think I should round them up first. So go into sorry, go into vertex selection. Select these four vertices. No, I'm selecting the face this way. Select these two, subdivide these two, subdivide these two, subdivide. The reason I'm doing it, I'm gonna give it more vertices to subdivide so that uh, so to work with so that I can make a proper circle. Not proper, but a better circle. So just do keep doing it until it's like okay. So this is. I think uh, this one's enough. How many times have I subdivided? One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. So now select all these vertices. Okay. Just box selection. Select these vertices. You've basically selected the face. Uh, press and right click on your mouse. Loop tools. Loop tools. You might have to enable them in the preferences. I'll show you. I'll just show you now. Edit preferences. In add-ons, search for sorry. Loop tools. Mesh and loop tools. And just tick this box. Okay. So now we're here. Select the whole area. Go into loop tools. Circle. Okay. That doesn't look that good. I think I need to reduce the radius. Let's just hmm. okay, let's enable the radius. Does that look good? It looks alright. Let's just keep it like that. Anyways, do the same thing for these two. Subdivide and then subdivide again. 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 Select all of these and then go to loop tools. Circle. Yeah, zero point two. Okay. So now got this face. These are all different faces now. So this one and this one. Select these two. Go into side view by pressing three. Press G and Y. Control and then just drag it one unit across. Would that look good? I don't know. Once, once you color it, we'll realize what. I'm just gonna color these different from the eyes so it might be better. Or I might even. Okay, let's just do this now. Insert a bit more. So when we're coloring, we're gonna color this one, let's just say black. This one's from different color. And then this one white. So it's a bit of a contrast that it shows. It will be more, tr uh, more visible to the eye. So now we've done the eyes. So let's just go to the teeth. For the teeth, I'm gonna do. Let's see. I'm not. I'll be honest. I'm not the best guy for this sort of thing. Well, I'm just trying to learn. So let's do it. So subdivide. No, the subdivision does not work here. So first, let's just take these two, and then J join these two together. Take these two now and subdivide. Okay. So now we've got eight teeth. Eight tooth teeth, yeah, teeth. <laughs> so, so select all these. Do we drag the teeth off or not? Should we or should we not? I don't know. I'll, I'll say just leave in the just tiny bit like we did with the eyes. Just a tiny. Instead, the eyes were 0 0.01 meter. So the teeth should be like 0 0.05. Let's just do that. This less than the eyes the offset from the y-axis but I'm keeping like this so as you can see I don't know if you can see or not but so I'm gonna color these areas maybe black or some other color and then these ones are gonna be white or should the teeth be inside yeah let's just do the teeth inside Z Z so now it's flat and G and Y control and shift and 
Oh crap. Well, yeah, we can't go. Anyways, or maybe E and Y. Why? What's going on here? This is so weird. The let's just drag them out a bit. That's way easier, and I think it's gonna look better though. So G Y, control the zero point zero five meters. Okay, so now we've got the head. Doesn't look that good, but once it's colored, it might look better. Hopefully, once again, I'm gonna inform the watchers, viewers, listeners that this is not a professional series. This is just a very, very basic robot series. And um, yeah. So press one to go into front view. I'm just gonna save it. So this is the head. Let's just say the body starts here to maybe here. Okay, so let's just make it a bit wider from here to here. Once again, I'm doing this at the top of my head. I made a robot earlier, but that was a while ago. So let's just do four and a half blocks each side. Four and a half, okay. The, to roughly around here. This is going to be the body and then the legs, okay. So now control, uh, sorry, shift A, a mesh, a cube. Once, well, once again, we need to scale it down until it's about the. Okay, so now that we've got that GX, GZ, I mean, bring it up. That should be enough for the neck, I think. Yeah, should be enough. It's a robot, not a human. Anyways, S and scale it, or the X axis, S and X. So that's two, one, two, three, four, five. Two. So two blocks and small two units, whatever, that, whatever those are. Anyways, so now S and Z should be about this high. GZ, drag it down two blocks. I think that's a bit too much on the Z axis. S Z, scale it down a bit. GZ, S Z, G Z. Okay doesn't look that good. Let's just do one or maybe two blocks more. S and Z. Okay, one block more. Okay, and one block. Drag it down. So, it should give us well, roughly this space for the legs. Okay, so this is the head. And this cube is going to be rear body. So we've got the head and the body. Now, what should we do? Should we make the arms next? Arms, let's just... For arms, I'm going to use a cylinder. Once again, scale it down a lot, actually, even more than before. This should be... Yeah, let's just keep this... What, what 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. G of Z, G Z, bring it up. R... This much rotation, 90 degrees, and then G of G and X. I'm, I'm keep saying off for some reason. G X, bring it out here. Let's see. If you go into that, you can see it's only when you go into vertex selection. There's only the first one and the second one. Because the arm's gonna bend a lot, we need more vertices here. So let's just how many? How many? So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. And then right click to center them. So now we've got 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of these, yeah. So when arm bends, it's going to bend a lot more naturally or not weirdly. So now scale it out. Okay, so is that a good enough scale? You remember, this is 2 meters. So let's just toy around with the arm a bit. So let's just bring it here. That's going to be about how much. Yeah, this looks alright. Let's just scale it one block. So uh, let's just bring it inside. Okay, so this is going to be the arm, the character. 
and at the end of the should I scale it a bit more does it look alright center the center from the hair from, from there here G and X drag them inside so now we've got the right arm with the cylinder let's just rename it right arm okay oh and one more thing let's just design it a bit let's just drag it out go into this for edit mode face selection and now let's just go to the top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these ones like the ones at the edge like alternatingly this one's going to be remaining inside out in out in out in out in or should I just just not just mm, do that let's just do that it's going to look better so Z and wireframe mode so that we can select the other side if we're not in wireframe mode we can't select the other side so select this 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 and this so one two three four five one two three four in our s control let's just do control so that's easier mm, that looks a bit weird i'm gonna i think i'm gonna it's gonna be e e control no just control uh, i've done control z so that the extrusion didn't happen make sure when you do that when you're working with this because that makes things a lot worse so i'm going to uh, press right click extrude along normals so this is zero if you go this way it goes out as you can see let's keep that what is that zero point zero point one I believe yeah zero point one so now they go into this mode as you can see it looks a bit nicer it looks a bit blocky but at least it's not completely smooth you get me <sighs> okay so let's just take take this one um, duplicate it, shift D duplicate it and then X to move along the X axis control let's just because it's symmetrical I'm just gonna drag along here so this is gonna be the left arm left arm so head body left arm right arm so just to make another cylinder I was think in the, the first one uh, the first robot I made for my basically it was just to, I was just testing around if I can make a small game for the thing but anyways let's just drag it down right here go in front view G Z drag it up okay so let's just do this two face selection extrude along normals shift and shift I'm, uh, I'm holding shift and control so that it's just very small increments and at 0 0.1 I'm just gonna click so it looks like oh crap see that's the issue with being really hasty move to wireframe shift control and then 0.1 so that's what it looks like right now we need to scale it a bit s and z let's just just so that it's connected and it's inside the body hopefully we'll, i don't think we'll need to bend the neck for the book animation anyway so yeah but anyways so the neck right arm left arm neck neck body I, I haven't done any modifications any modeling on the bodies I might do it later on Shall I do it now? well I'm just gonna make the arms first oh sorry the hand it's gonna be <laughs> I'm only working in cubes anyway oh crap what happened anyways control use control to scale so that it's easier and it's more uniform control drag it around here what should the hand look like let's just scale it on s and z it should be bigger than the arms and 
uh, I'm going to talk to you with the 7 on the numpad S and Y, let's just scale it a bit on the Y as well so I know it's just it's blocky but yeah let's just wait for this anyways G and X just drag it here going to Y frame as you can see it's inside so hopefully it will, it will be okay let's just rename it right and shall I work with shall I work on the hand a bit I think I should just a tiny bit mm -hmm. so go into top view select these let's just scale them in a bit from the top okay now nah, there's no I don't know I don't want to work with that because it would make it might make animation a bit weird it would definitely it, I'm not sure but it might make animation weird because I don't have any many vertices there so weight can do it would complicate weight training let's just leave it like that but once again it's a very basic if you want you can model it and it won't be that problematic I can assure you it's just I'm not really that great at uh, everything <laughs> anyways I, I haven't been I haven't only been using blender for a very small period of time so let's just drag it around control uh, shift D to copy it and then drag it around here so uh, once one more check that you can do is it's minus let's just go into the properties somewhere around here uh, once again I'm not completely used to it so yeah <laughs> it's this part <laughs> anyways it's minus 1.3 and 1.2 on the so it's minus on the X one minus 1.3 and 1.3 so yeah it's completely symmetrical I haven't, I haven't done mirroring in this modeling thing because quite frankly it makes it I think it's gonna make it a more complicated thing anyways let's just rename it to left hand so right hand body head left arm left hand neck right arm right hand so yep anyways let's just take this one shift D bring it down here somewhere okay rotate it control to rotate this one uh, should should I try to this because yeah this is enough anyway so if you've got this and then symmetrical to this is this so look at this minus 0 0.2 0 0.2 and let's just rotation zero zero on the x zero on the y uh, z and 180 on the y so zero zero Wh which other one this one has yeah we rotate it zero let's, let's just keep them at zero so that's easy i don't know how to explain it okay so none of them have any rotation anymore but at least complete rotations not weird ones so once again for the foot I'm just going to use a cube top scale it down to the size of the head a G bring it above here 3 S and Z scale it on the Z axis should be what G and Z bring it on one block now scale it on the X axis okay so it's inside the body as you can see yes I just need to move a bit forward so press 3 to you go into the side view G Y one block oh, let's see what it looks like looks alright anyways this is the left foot okay so let's just rename these as well right leg left leg left foot shifty just around here right foot so let's just drag these ones a bit on this one block here g x one unit to the side so now we've got a very basic <laughs> robot thing so we've got all the body parts head neck body left or uh, right right arm right hand left arm left hand I'm not sure what it 
I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue, but let's just drag the arms in a bit so that it's not. So, yeah. Let's drag them in a bit. G, X, Shift, one block. Oh, yeah, it looks alright. G, X, Shift, one block. Okay, so now we've got a very, very basic model. Uh, let's just do a bit on the arms. So we've got all the vertices selected. How would bevel vertices work? Okay. That doesn't look that bad. That looks alright actually. That looks way better. It's a very small change, but it's added a bit of definition to the model. That it's not completely just a block. <laughs> Anyways, I just insert a bit. Go into edit mode, face selection. What, what does insert look like? Mm. So with the robot, yeah. W if you could, you could design a like a battery sign here somewhere. Let's just try making it ourselves. Uh, this might seem a bit weird, but I'm not really that good at this sort of thing. So I've been whenever, whenever I make something, I just extrude it like that. Let's see if it works. Oh, it's not. That's a problem. Vertices. Oh crap! What's going on? Just Control Z to go back. Let's make a square first. J. J. Okay, so we've got three faces now along these faces. To make a battery, what I'm gonna do is. Center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sorry. 1, 2, 1. One. Okay, no, 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 no. For this one, I don't know, man. Should I? Should I not? Because it seems like once it, I'll be honest. I'm not a pro at modeling or anything like that. I'm just doing it so that I can understand, and maybe if someone else needs some help, they can understand. So let's just subdivide, subdivide a bit more, like two more times. Okay. One, two, three. Subdivide, subdivide. Okay. So now, J, J. J, 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 J. Okay, so now we've got loads of faces. So if we select all of these, let's select them and insert them. What would they look like? Oh, okay, that looks bad. <laughs> I, I believe it was B. C, oh. so let's just look at it from the side I bring it in and then control and drag it out of it with, with inserting stuff if you press control it drags in or out so yep that's what it looks like so let's just make some lines from <laughs> it's a bit funny or maybe let's just Instead of making seven faces, I think it might work. Ah, oh, crap. What I'm gonna do is select all these vertices, control, sorry, X, delete vertices, select all these, X, delete vertices, J, oh, crap. Okay, so what we need to do is, I think it's dissolve faces. With these three, you can say dissolve faces. Do they show up? Dissolve faces, yeah. So now, whilst I've only got, and we'll for this one, dissolve vertices. Dissolve vertices. Okay, so now I've got three faces, 
and one, two, three, four. Okay. So, anyways, take this one. Go towards a bit, towards the side. I bring it about here and drag it out a bit. Okay. This thickness one point four. 0 0.14 I've made it 0 0.14 and depth is about 0 0.03 0 0.03 data oh, okay sorry is that right okay so now should I subdivide uh, let's just subdivide two times and then join them together J J J okay the, does this look like a battery sign? I don't know so what I'm, what I'm gonna uh, one thing I'm gonna face so there's gonna be let's just insert it just a tiny bit about 0 0.1 no that's too much 0 0.05 yeah. 0 0.05 okay each one of these insert them 0 0.05 i 0 0.05 enter i 0 0.05 enter so now we've got these so when i'm coloring what i'm going to do is all the outer boundaries are going to be black and the inner boundary would be white so it's going to look like a battery sign okay I think I've done enough for the body. So I've dragged it out, put these in, and the battery sign as well. And you just go to the arms. Go to. Oh, oh, no, it doesn't look that good. Well, once it's color, it's going to look way better. It's not going to look like a professional thing. But it's going to look way better than it is right now. Okay, let's just go to the arms. I don't know. Man. Like the front face, inset here about 0 0.1, 2, 3, 0 0.3, and then G of X. G of X, GX, I mean, uh, G of X is like a math term. Uh, so Yep, I think yeah, that should be alright. Oh god, it's not that much, but what can I do? I'm not a pro, pro. Did I insert the yeah, I inserted that one. I 0 0.1, 2, 3, 2, I believe it was. Could have been 3, no, it's 3. 0 0.3, crap. I 0 0.3, enter. And then G of X. Okay, so it looks choppy, but it is. Yeah, it's alright. So for the foot. Choose the foot. Take the front one. Inset it. Well, 0 0.1, 2, 3, 2. That is 2. G of uh, uh, G by one unit to the front, 0 0.1. Okay, F X selection I 0 0.2, G Y 0 0.1. Huh? 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mark. Yeah, it's minus, minus one. Yeah, anyways, so I think it looks alright. Once we do the animation, we might run into some problems because it's very blocky. But mm, I'm just gonna say it's alright. It looks alright. Anyways, thank you for watching. And this is part one done. Hopefully, the next time, uh, the next time we're gonna do coloring, texturing, stuff like that. Hopefully it looks better once it's completely done. Thank you for watching. See you next time.